Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet with me, Diver, and me, Space Monk 92D, who just decided to sneeze. Excellent! Exceedingly awesome timing. Do you have anything to say mm -hmm. to me? Oh, apparently, you want to change your clothes. Massy, massy! No, you're not changing your haircut. All right, looks like you're going with uh, army army girl again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shorts, belt, armor plating. I don't think I went with that one yet, but yeah, that works oh. fine. Yeah. Green oh, and no, gray. Oh no, I did, I did, I did, I did. That's uh, a streaker. That's it. Yeah, green and gray. All right, and we're back down to a ten-second time lag. Not anything else. What the hell were we doing? Uh, well, oh, there's something to do over there. We were shooting things, I guess? I mean, that's kind of what the game is about, right? Well, technically, yes. <clears throat> but, there's a gold win- Oh, that's right, we had to go and talk to somebody for whatever reason. They wanted to be talked to. <coughs> yeah, sure, we'll talk to you. Make you feel better. Hmm. And then they didn't feel better. It was like, oh, they don't feel better. Indeed. To the left! I mean, to the right! You know, I really should have actually started the game before you started that, so I wouldn't feel afraid to start a game and then find that the lags changed. <laughs> hey, do you guys want to get something to drink somewhere? All that hunting in the desert today really has me parched. You do realize this is a video game! Huh? <clears throat> oh, my goodness, my throat all of a sudden. Great but idea, let's so go realistic. to our usual place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anywhere that serves cold drinks is as good as an oasis to me. <laughs> I definitely feel like jumping into an oasis myself. My throat's as dry as a bone. You're the only guy surrounded by five women <laughs> who are arguably some of the most attractive women on this server. You know, he's only interested in going for the bath. Mm. The jumping into the oasis is all just so the rest of them would go in, right? Actually, I think it's just because he's kind of a gay, spoiled, rich kid. He doesn't really care. I know. I oh, joking. it's these three! Alright, this scene is actually from the anime. They're talking about changes to... Like, the uh, the scene in the background there that's on his still friend. They're talking about how they've changed how stats work. This place sure is crowded. It's not usually like this. Check out the monitor in the middle. That's MMO stream, isn't it? Come on, you know, it's an internet show that does special features on popular VR games and tricks on how to play them. <laughs> he sure looks like he's full of himself. He's one of the top players. That's that ZZD guy. Kept going on about how AGI builds are the best in GGO. People that get caught up in what's hot at the moment are idiots. That's something you'd say, Itsuki. Yeah, I don't let other people decide things for me. Well, I like to think of trends as important pieces of information. I'm just putting that info to good use, unlike a certain stubborn person I know. Stubborn, eh? And who might that be? Just look the one right in front of me, of course. Huh? What's with that guy? Oh no. Zixid, you're nothing but a fake, and now you'll face judgment from someone with real power. Enter the death gun, everybody. Pop. <laughs> What's with that guy? That's gotta be embarrassing. I can't blame the guy for not liking Zexseed, though. <laughs> huh? Isn't it Zexseed? Uh, I think it's Zexseed, I don't know. <laughs> this is real power, real strength. Let your fear carve one name into your brains. Oh, the name that I share with this weapon is Death Gun. Hmm? What? What's going on? Looks like Zexy suddenly logged out, but that expression of pain on his face, that was unusual. That weird guy with the pistol, did he call himself Death Gun? Who is he? A total prick who I'm going to enjoy killing the fuck out of. <clears throat> 
Huh? Uses Where did he go? Weapon is a hacked weapon. Itsuki's gone too. How oh, lame. It looks like he slipped out while everyone was distracted by Zexseed. Uh-oh. Uh, was Zexseed murdered just now? That's impossible. The system's not set up for that. This is GGO, not SAO. That sort of thing can't happen here. Also, it's not the game, it was the equipment. Yeah, that's yeah. right. They're probably just having some technical difficulties with the program. MMO stream isn't a program inside GGO. It's broadcast in a VR space separate from the game. That would mean the bullet would have to travel from here to a different VR space, and there's no way that's possible. That's... If data can transfer from one area to another, it's possible. <laughs> but the timing of everything is suspicious. Deliska, you're starting to lose your poker face. Ahem. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. By the way, Itsuki, where did you run off to? I thought I'd go after that death gun guy, but I lost track of him when I got outside. The fact that the guy was using the game's privacy function to hide his avatar name suggests this might have been a planned attack. It's a pretty nasty stunt he pulled. I should probably contact the admins and let them know what happened. Stunt? Based on his little speech, it sounds like that guy wasn't just pulling some stunt. He was serious. Or whatever. <laughs> but it probably is some sort of grudge against top players. Pretty scary stuff. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, Basil Joe's been quiet for a while. It didn't look like he would give up. Has he been bothering you when you're alone? Just don't go head first by yourself. You should let us know about it, alright? Oh, Zaliska was worried about it, so let's talk about this later in your home. Let's see, what do we have on the map? Alright, no other quests on the base map. Nothing there. Hmm. Next actual quest is at home. Now for this base, we'll probably do some things offline just to raise people's affection levels. Okay. Well, I risk starting a game. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Let's hmm. see, we are at... Wow, I thought it was a lot longer than that. Let's go home and do more quest stuff. No, nah, it's pretty... You, you've pretty fresh started. That, that was angry. Oh, hey, we start off with your line. Oh, oh, do we? Yep. Error, please wait while I load the sentence. Master! You just got a new message! It's from Joe! This is the last time I'll ask you this. I want one more duel. If I win... <clears throat> if I lose, you'll get what's most important to me. We'll fight in the Remnant Wasteland. I'll be waiting for you there. P.S. I'll wait for you as long as I have to. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Ellipsis. Wait for as long as I have to? Seriously? I don't think you should really feel obligated to go see him, Tiberianus. You've already given him more than enough of your time as it is. I'm with Korea on this one, although knowing him, I bet he literally would wait for you as long as it took. Hmm? He probably would, too. For both better or for worse, his stubbornness is his most defining trait by far. And it's at the Space Monkey line! Yay! Yay. You know what? I'm gonna start dragging Douglas in. Anyway. Master, I don't really think Joe's such a bad guy. I mean, he gave me candy and he keeps trying to take me away, but I don't think he's such a bad guy. You're too sweet as always, Ray. Either way, if you plan on doing this, Tiberianus, just know I'll have your back. <laughs> eh, sure. Why not? Let's do this. But sweeties! <laughs> What? God damn it, Space Monkey. Don't forget to take me along with you when you go to see him, Master. I think I'll take along too. I'm curious to see how it'll all pan out. I bet Kirito and his friends are going to want to come too. In that case, I'll bring lunch so we can make this a fun little get together. Oh my god, we're turning it into a picnic. Oh god. A duel for ownership of my cyber girlfriend is turning into a picnic. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 
But yeah, he's got sweets, and I'm pretty sure I heard he's got a van too. That sounds great! Now we got to see him, Master! This one never learns either. It's settled. You're taking me with you to this fight, okay? We're hitting the Remnant Wasteland together. I am. Apparently you are. Uh, I haven't leveled her up at all. Oh, well, let's get the Tui out of here. Tui, 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 Tui. Uh, how do I do this again? And so I go into Dragon's Dogma. Is that really a game you should be playing when you have to do reading and stuff? Yeah, it's fine. I can pause it. Uh. <laughs> Wait a oh. sigh. Alrighty. In another place, Wait, in another life, another child of man blazes your path. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. You ready? Alright, let's do this. I mean, come on, it's such a good Hold game. Hold on a second, Tyver. Hold on a second. Dragon oh my Ball goodness. Such a good game. Yo! Oh, the hell. Oh, oh, this whole time. This whole time it's been stuck on a single frame. Oh, really? Yep. Without updating. Ah, oh, and there's no way to go back. Because it auto saves and it's Iron Man. There you are! Glad you can make it to Berianus! So basically, it's it was stuck on the frame where we were in the shop. Hmm. Yep. Cause I see. Uh, oh, you're talking the recording. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, it, there's no do? dropped frames. It's just been only showing that one image. Oh well. There you are. Glad you can make it to Berianus. Like I would literally have to play through the entire game again to get to see that scene again. So, oops. Yeah. I got to say, I figured you'd bring your officer system along, but I wasn't exactly expecting an audience this big. What gives? <laughs> that just sounded too exciting to miss. Who wouldn't want to come watch? It's a pleasure to meet you, by the way. I just realized this is the first time we've met in person. Hello. Can I fight too? This looks like it's gonna be a blast. Wait, hold your horses. I can't keep talking to you guys all day. It's going to be night before we even start fighting. I'm not really one for putting on a show like this, but at the same time, with these kind of fights, you do need a crowd to make it feel real. Wait, what? You know, it's just kind of like, hey, what's up? I'm not really one for putting on a show, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what are the rules? We're going back to the basics for this fight. One-on-one, -on -one, nothing fancy. And also, fuck. You've come a long way since we first butted heads, Tiberianus, making it all the way to the Flugel. You're really strong now. Before, I wasn't so sure about your strength on your own, which is why I went for group fights. <laughs> but now, I don't feel like I need to pull my punches. I'll be going at you no holds bars, giving you my worst. Make sure you're prepared before you fight me. I'll wait for you as long as it takes, so make it count. I'd heed his warning if I were you to be honest. He might usually look like a pushover, but his strength is no joke. Itsuki's right. You'd be surprised how serious he can get in a fight. He's like another person. Not even the he here can break his resolve. It's it's hot here? I thought it was cold. He's as stubborn as a roach in a seedy motel. Once he's on you, he's damn near impossible to shake off. How much time do you spend in seedy motels, young lady? Oi! Hey, I can hear you too, you know. Show some respect for me, will ya? I'm sorry to put you through this, Tiberianus. I really am. I know how close you and your artifices are. But there are some things a man has to see through to the end, no matter what. Let's make this a duel for the ages, alright? Alright, no more colliding around. Let's do this! I thought you were going to give me as much time as I needed. If it's too difficult for you to ba face Bessel Joe on your own, we can fight with you too. But if you want to fight him fairly, you shouldn't have us in your party. Da -da -da. Okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm like Dragon's Dog, but it's like, yes, I like Dragon's Dog, but yeah, so I don't know why. Oh, God! Oh? 
No, I was expecting, like, I wasn't expecting combat to actually start at that point. Oh! <laughs> Book it! Book it! <laughs> Pretty much. Running, 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 running! Oh god, I forgot how the tatty pawns were. <laughs> Even in numbers, a weakling is a weakling still. It's like, well, yeah, but you know. There's more than one. This is actually kind of anticlimactic feeling. Well, yeah, you're used to group fights and then you're forced into single fight, you know. Oh god! Hmm? This is weird ass charge thing. Excuse me, I said reload. Can't catch me, motherfucker! <laughs> but now nah, I'm literally starting the game again from scratch because why not? Mm -hmm. I see. Nah, this is gonna take a while. Yeah. Yeah, your your thing's gonna take a long time. Yes, but it's my thing will take a long time. Long time. Uh, I think it'll take a long time, Tiger. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, just stand over there and light on fire, please. No, I, I don't wanna. Hey, you don't have choice in the matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kill the snake! Kill the snake! Snake! Die, snake! Oh no, I ran out of energy. The snake is dead, though. Oh wait, you're already there? Hmm? Yeah? Oh no, that, not that snake. The snake on the Chimera. Ah. I mean, I can get there quite soon. Like the starter game know. snake. There, where it's yeah. like, blah, 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 and this is how you got here. Well, it's more like, this is what someone else did in the past. Ah. Hi, Besacho! You're not the first Arisen, by the way. Oh. There's like an Arisen every generation, I think? Oh, I actually stunned him, too. I'm surprised you actually knew about the sec the I did watch your first previous proper play. play. Well, I didn't think you watched all of it. That's right at the start. Well, yeah, but I know. Ta. <laughs> <laughs> There's a rock in the way, you can't catch me. Ow! Okay! Holy shit! <laughs> but 
but no, I like magic, but I think in this game it's actually better yeah, to yeah. not be magic, or more fun, I should say. Because even though there are some instant death uh, spells, essentially, they take like two minutes to warm up. Mm -hmm. Ow. Gotcha! Hoorah! That was a little more time consuming than I thought it would be. <coughs> Speaking of what, when's your time? And I countless lifetimes like games. 20, 20 minutes. I lost! Even on one and one, you still beat me! Nice! Oh, that's you. Error, please wait while I load the uh, thingy compliment. Nice fight, Joe! You did great! Uh, Arfaxis? Like what are you saying? Error, please wait while I load explanation for compliments. I'm always my will be my master's Arfaxis. Tiberianus is the only one for me. But you're a good guy too, Jewel. I'd love it if we could be friends. <laughs> Thanks for fighting for me again, Master. You are really on top of your game there. You are really on top of your game there. Also, Jewel, can you give me some more sweets from your van? You're really a good kid, idea. Well, obviously! Ugh... <laughs> Damn it, real men don't cry, but here I am, bawling my eyes out! Wait, that's just not coming out of me, never mind! <laughs> anyway, I made a promise to you, Tiberianus, and I intend to keep it. You can have what's most important to me. Oh yeah, you did write something to that effect, huh? What is it, a rare item? Money? It's the emphasis. Yeah. Nope, it's me! Oh god! <laughs> huh? Everyone's just like, huh? Huh? That's, uh, not really what we had in mind. To say the least. Agreed. Well, this got awkward fast. Hey, hold on now, ladies. I'll have you know I have a lot to offer as a man and a player. Um, I'll make your party not only stronger, but friendlier and more courageous to boot. You couldn't ask for a better party member than me. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. Oh, Zaliska. Let's get out of here, Tiberianus. Seriously? <laughs> Is everyone just like buggering off like, no. Master, we sh what should we do with him? Eh, we can invite him out on quests sometimes. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Besides, he probably has his own squad to attend to anyway. I don't think you're one to talk about squads after everything you've done to yours, Buster. But I agree it's important to think of his other friends, too. Look, a man's word is a man's word. My buddies all get that. I guess we can invite you along on quests from time to time for now and go from there. Let me guess, error, why am I waiting load sentence? Mm. Sounds good to me! Just having Joe around the for quest would feel better. Right? Would make me feel better. I'm a good guy to have around. You better not leave me behind when you go out, alright? And good fight, Tiberianus. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. For us. By you, I meant us. Dual arms. Dual arms can be enabled once you've acquired a certain item. However, in order to use it, you will need twice the status of the gun you plan to equip. Switch to, press Y in the equipment screen. Weapons that you can dual wield include assault rifles, handguns, submachine guns, shotguns, and certain launchers. What? Assault rifles? Yep. Alright. I don't know chill, why I that I, I don't know why that popped up now. Did I just get that item? Man, everybody who kills me gets a ton of money. I think you just got the ability to do it, basically. Uh. Kirito, there's something that I want to talk to you about. Come to our home, right now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Our uh. home? Our home? 
Let's well, I guess it's better than, her. you know, being Kirito's. Ugh. But he wants us to go to Kirito's place. Kirito, What's up, Kirito? You almost never have all of us get together like this. Are we going to hunt a huge field boss or go on some sort of epic quest? Actually, I'm sorry to ask this all of you guys all of a sudden, but I want you to stay off of GGO for a while. No way! But what about the SPC Flugel quest? What's going on? I would imagine you've got some good reasons for asking that of us. Yeah, I want to hear them. You've got something convincing. I'll consider what you're asking. Kirito, did you get caught up in something serious again? You know that's not it, Asuna. Kirito's always voluntarily sticking his nose into trouble. You're right. So give us all the details, Kirito. Go on then. Spill the beans like always. So this is how you guys see me, huh? Yep. That's what you get for not having your girly body! Based on careful observation of your actions up until this point, Daddy, what Mommy and Leafa are saying is correct. I see. That could prove useful. I'd like that data as well. You too, Yui and Premier? Well, you guys are right, but I didn't go looking for trouble this time. It came, it came looking for me when I was contacted by someone. They told me that something sinister is happening in GGO. Someone? I can't say who that who that someone is, but let's just say that they're an official I got to know because of something that happened a long time ago. They don't know too much about VR games, so they sometimes ask me to look into things. An official? You mean like a police officer? Wait, Kirito, are you some sort of bigwig in real life? <laughs> no way! I'm just a concerned citizen who's trying to do the right thing. What I'm about to tell you is classified information, honestly. I really want you guys to stay away from GGO, but... I guess you just won't take my word for it on this. And that's why I agreed to take this request on one condition, that I'd be allowed to tell you guys at least a little bit about what's going on. Please don't tell anyone, not even your friends or family. Can you guys promise me that? Well, all of my friends and family are in this room, okay? Alright. <laughs> Wait, your family's in that room? Yeah. Nobody. I'm going with- it is now my headcanon that everyone she loves is dead. Except oh god! <laughs> everyone yeah, she promise. loves is dead. Except Pinky. Two deaths occurred the other day. Both victims lived alone, so their bodies had already decomposed quite a bit by the time they were discovered. No, no, Cyber. Hmm? Everyone you love is dead. Oh. Ah. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! <laughs> According to the results of the autopsies, the cause of death was sudden heart failure. Supposedly, the two of them had died while playing a VR game. <laughs> so they were unfortunate deaths that happened to occur while playing a game. Right. You could say they were just unfortunate accidents, but the two of them were top players in a certain game. Meaning GGO, right? Exactly. And since they were pretty high in the rankings, you might actually know them. One was Zexi, the other was Ushishio Tarako. I know those names! Zexi was that guy on the MMO stream program. He was shot with a gun by that weirdo. Not with a gun, that weirdo you mentioned. Was his name Death Gun? Yeah, that's what he called himself. If I remember correctly, he was holding a pistol. Apparently, U Usushio Tarako also logged out immediately and went radio dark after being shot by Death Gun. You guys actually saw Death Gun? Do you remember anything you noticed about him? What was his avatar name? He was using the game's privacy function to hide his avatar name. His face was covered by a mask and his whole body was shrouded in a cloak, so we didn't really get a good look. He had a slim yet toned body. He was about the same height as Klein. And his gun, if I remember correctly. It was this one. Uh-oh, Shinon freak out time! This is Death Gun. What? No! Not this gun! You know? What's wrong, Sino? Sino, it's okay, we're here for you. Relax. 
I'm sorry. I, I don't feel too good. For those of you who are wondering why she reacted that way, and don't mind spoilers, I'll tell you. If you do mind spoilers... That's the gun that she used. Okay. Yes, or, that, yeah. that, that was the gun she killed the bank robber with. Yes, and she's been traumatized ever since. You could have just said that was a gun she used. Even not spoilery. But, uh, there would still have been spoilery just to say she used it. Yeah, you're probably pretty tired. Let's have you rest a bit in the room over there. Alright, let's go. You should lay down. Asuna, you finish listening to Kirito's story. I'll take care of Sinon. Intimately. Got it. Thanks. I'll be right with you once Kirito's finished. Uh, I'll help you too, Yuki. My I'll come along as well. Easy. Come on, this way. Wow, just everybody. Wow, that, that's that's harem dynamics right there. Just all the girls working together. I know you're supposed to be worried about your friends, but we'll have to find out what happened later. Shinon got sick all of a sudden. Let's just leave it at that. <coughs> Thanks, everyone. I'll be sure to explain that to Sinon. I'm sure it'll be bothering her after all. Kirito, going back to what you were talking about, are you saying that you have, there have been murders in GGO? Well, based on how GGO is designed, and how spheres work, it's not possible to kill people. Right, it's absolutely impossible. GGO isn't like SAO. But those two players are actually dead, right? Plus, after they were shot by Death Gun, they were forcibly locked out, and couldn't be reached after that. Wait, so that means it's possible to be killed in GGO then? Base, what were you gonna say? If data can be transferred and the equipment's not majorly changed, it is possible. Well, that's just it. The uh, the Amuse Spheres are completely different from the, the dive helmets that were used for Sword Art Online. The, the, those helmets were specifically designed with the capacity to microwave your brain if you died. Yeah, but... The Amuse uh... Sphere is just a visor that interrupts brain signals. Yes, interrupts brain signals. Yeah, so the signals that are supposed to be going to the rest of your body for like motor control. Overload synapses. Stuff. Yeah. That's all you would need to do is overload synapses. Yeah, but after the first time, I'm sure they tested that. But how? Amusphere are supposed to be safe, right? You're thinking it's possible, aren't you, Kirito? That's why you asked us not to log into the game for a while, right? I was just planning for the worst case scenario in the event that it is possible for 30 minutes. There might be some sort of loophole that we don't know about yet. I don't mind staying away from GGO for a while, as long as you do the same, Kirito. That's the pr first wife for you. I'm going to be looking into things, so I'm going to stay. I've got to figure out who Death Gun is and what he's planning. I know who he is. That's what I thought. Then I'm staying too. I'm worried about you doing this alone. <coughs> right. There's no way we can let you do this by yourself. Kureha, you and the others shouldn't join us, just to be safe. Ah, safety numbers. Before we figure out what's going on with the killings, it'd be nice if we knew what Death Gun hopes to accomplish. Based on what we know right now, it looks like he's targeting famous players. Given that Death Gun used words like judgment and power in front of a large group of other players, it might not necessarily be a grudge against a specific person. That's right. Based on what I saw, I felt like it was directing what he said to be more than just Zexied. Uh, let's uh, say that again. That's right. Based on what I saw, it felt like he was directing what he said to more than just Zexied. We don't have much to go on, but there's a good chance that he's targeting top players. If that's actually the case, then out of us, all of us are top players! Hmm. Yeah, especially the one who came in like 10 days ago and is perfect at everything ever, apparently. Well, Space, I knew you knew me, but I didn't know you knew me that well. They'll probably target Kirito, Asuna, Sinan, Tuliska, and me, I guess. And you too. Can we really get murdered in a game? I don't blame you for being surprised or skeptical. I myself don't believe that people can be killed in GGO either. It's just not possible to stop someone's heart in real life with in-game interactions. Oh. God damn it, Space Maggie! <laughs> it's called plot armor! This ultimately has to be some sort of coincidence. At least, that's the conclusion I've come to. But I'm definitely interested in finding out more about this death gun. I was only able to listen to a recording of his voice, but I could tell that he's serious about killing people. Serious about killing people, huh? Laughing coffin! Laughing coffin! Laughing coffin. 
Laughing Coffin. Think long and hard about what you want to do from here on out. Once you figure out what you want to do, let me know. I'll be here waiting. Looks like everyone's feeling a little confused about all of this. Mirianis, why don't you go talk to them and see if you can't help them figure things out. This is like a 15 minute cutscene. There we go! And with that, we're gonna end the episode, everybody. Good night! No, no, hey. Also, 15 minute cutscenes are, like, annoying you then. Never played Metal Gear Solid 4. I didn't plan to. Good night, everybody!